Hi, I wanted to share with everyone an understanding that had come in recently. So when I was in Sarasota, we were at the grocery store and I walked past this end cap and this package of pepperoni just flew off the shelf at me. And I was looking around and I looked at everyone else and I said, did you guys see that? And they said, yeah. But I couldn't quite get into the zone to see what made that pepperoni fly off at me. But then what I noticed in the condo was that I would look over and I would think, is that my daughter? But it would be out of the corner of my eye and she wouldn't be there. So then I finally tapped in and I realized that this was unfortunately an uncrossed spirit and it was of a 15 year old girl. And though I was not able to convince her to cross, she gave me some really interesting information. So I was talking to her and I said, well, what, what made it so that you followed us? And she said to me, she goes, you know, people have cracks. And in my mind, I saw like a sheet of plexiglass or bulletproof grass that had like the bullet hole through it and it had cracked, but it wasn't broken. And so that's what I was seeing. And she said, you know, and you had a lot of cracks, but there were so many of yours that were filled in and I was just curious, why were your cracks filled in? So I followed you and I was like, huh. Now, because out of the corner of my eye, I kept seeing my own teenager and I realized that this teenager had committed suicide, it really brought up a lot of emotion in me because with COVID and the lockdowns, we experienced some depression, some anxiety and just typical teenage angst growing up now versus when my 20 somethings were growing up is completely different and it is a lot more stressful so I always have in the back of my head like just trying to make sure everything's okay right like make sure that uh, is she okay does she have the coping mechanisms she need is she going to fall in with a bad crowd or substances or, or what have you it's the parental stuff right so she says to me she says i i knew you were worried about your daughter but i wanted you to know that she doesn't have a lot of cracks and she says, i can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow but if you've healed so many of your cracks, you can always help her heal hers. So stop worrying. And it was this really beautiful message. And then she says to me, I have a question for you. And I said, yeah. And she said, there's a lot of people's whose cracks are getting bigger. And I said, they're getting bigger. She said, yeah, wider and more open. And in my mind, what I saw again was the plexiglass and the cracks were widening and widening. And eventually what will happen is the glass will come down, right? Like you can't be completely cracked and then lose the structural integrity without there being a catastrophe, a collapse. And... I just said to her, I said, I think a lot of people are struggling and there's a lot of people who don't have the ability, the coping mechanisms to handle everything that's going on inside. And she was like, oh, okay. So then I, you know, I connected in with my team and I said, help me here. What are, what is she referring to? And what she's referring to is exactly, it's exactly that. We have a lot of people in this world with zero coping mechanisms. So they're turning to alcohol, they're turning to drugs, they're turning into rage, they're turning into a type of psychosis. And, you know, all of us running around here, we're empaths, we can kind of feel what's going on. It can make this time period very difficult because what's happening is people's cracks are widening and they're widening to the point that there's no, there's no way that can be denied anymore. And then at that point is the choice. Do you heal or do you collapse? And sometimes collapse is necessary.
And then you choose, which pieces do I pick up? Who am I now? Where do I go now? So it's a really important place to be. But it can be really difficult for those of us that are working with the collective energies who feel everything. So I just want you to understand what's happening with people so that we can have a little bit of ease and grace for them so that we can hold space and do our best not to take the outbursts, the insanity, the irrational behaviors personally. And if you're someone who you can feel there's a crack that's widening, it's okay. You just got to move through it, see it, see what is exposed when that crack widens. It's showing you something. It's showing you something that can't go forward, something that can't be healed over. It can be this festering wound that, you know, we pretend it heals over, but the infection is deep within. We're now at the stage where we're getting the infection out and it's not easy. So take care of yourself and do your best to have good energetic boundaries to hold space for others and not take this crazy personally.